All right. Uh, all right. We are now being joined by Ujwal Nikam on the phone line. Senior lawyer Ujwal Nikam is joining us on the phone line on this particular big breaking uh, news that has just come in. Uh, Mr. Nikam, thank you for joining us on the broadcast. Uh, my first question to you is, you know, as far as this case is concerned, I'm sure you're aware of uh, that uh, the fact that the NCB has said that there is no proof uh, as far as uh, uh, the case with Aryan Khan is concerned. Uh, what are your first thoughts? Let me make it very clear. NCP has never said that there is no proof as such against him. What NCP has made a statement that there is no sufficient evidence to proceed against him. And therefore, they have not included him as an accused in the trial. They did not include in the charge sheet, number one. Number two, when Aryan Khan was arrested, there was, according to the NCP officer, there was a prima facie evidence against him on the basis of certain worship chat, and they arrived at a conclusion that that was a prima facie evidence to connect the accused with that crime. But later on, after the thorough investigation, they found that that was not a sufficient evidence. So right. we have to make a distinction between prima facie evidence and sufficient evidence. And mm -hmm. if NCB takes a good action, by not implicating him in the charge sheet, we must appreciate the fairness of the NCB, number one. Number two, if we'll try to discourage, and if my friend Mr. Mehman has made some political statement, why a port precaution has not been taken? He is aware. He has been practicing in the criminal, in the criminal science since a long time. Such things had happened. And normally, you see, when the court has the power to discharge the accused, when there was no sufficient evidence, it doesn't mean that one person should be prosecuted immediately because he arrested that person. Because under IPC, you see, there is a protection also. So we, but but NCB should make a, a internal inquiry as to how, why this has happened, why there was so much haste in making arrest. So we should not condemn the you see investigating agency at the junction. Otherwise, the investigating agency will not take any fair steps in future. Okay. Uh, okay. Right, Mr. Mr. Nikam. Okay. If you could also tell us now, now that the fact that the NCB has said that there has not been, that they don't have sufficient ev evidence, what does it mean for the officers involved in the case? Yes, of course. This is, this is an important question. The officer who had initially arrested him, what was the basis for him? It is for the NCB to make an internal inquiry. And if they found that, he has no other alternative motive, then he is well protected in the IPC. If he has some ulterior motive, then they will take internal action against him. Right, right. Right, Mr. Nikam. Thank you so much for joining us in the broadcast and sharing your views.